So you're like, ding dong, you got a fine for prostitution, $800. Oh. Send it oh. to this account, and that's it. Welcome, Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, the K News. Danny King, David. Today we have lots and lots of hot ass tea. First off, we have Pop Tio Porza becoming a one woman band. Oh no! And JYJ Jejun gets coronavirus, but it was a joke, oh, and it's he a faces joke. How legal funny. repercussions. And Three thousand people line up for Animal Crossing despite the coronavirus. And last but not least, Chung Jun Young from the Burning Sun chat is fined for prostitution charges. And it's a very small amount. You'll be shocked. And on to the first news. Okay, pop duo Porsa becomes a one-woman band. Guitarist of Porsa Uji Yoon officially left the band as their label, uh, Soul Powder Music, announced on April 2nd. They stated that Uji Yoon had concerns regarding her future and wanted to conclude the activities of Porsa Sachungi. Wait, do we actually pronounce it Porsa? The official name is Porsa. Okay, well, is it Bo? for what, what do you guys pronounce it? I have no idea but in Korea we call it Porza. The band will not recruit any new members and will continue with the vocalist An Ji Young only releasing new music in May of this year. Uh, now it's no secret that An Ji Young is the most recognizable of the two and Woo Ji Yoon has become sort of a meme in Korean internet. Yeah, she's because, like always shadowing behind you know. And also um, she's considered the guitar cop which is uh, Guitar King, as people perceive her as having a very easy job of playing rather simple guitar parts and rarely singing while receiving all the big paychecks that Borupar Gan Sachungi gets because they're extremely popular. They are. And most of the Borupar Gan Sachungi songs were written by An Ji Young. And oh. Um, the recordings of the guitar parts in the albums themselves were also not played by Uji. What? They were played by session artists. I didn't know that. So it's easy to see where this perception comes from. So knowing this very well herself, I think Uji probably made up the good decision of um, becoming a, a solo artist or maybe starting her own band or joining another band. Um, right now, she's just being shadowed by her partner and friend. Right. I don't know if, if the partner An Ji Young herself is uh, shadowing her but it's more like everybody else thinks of it I think way. it's like the fate of any kind of band the main vocal always gets the spotlight and the others like they're all nameless like nobody knows the drummer and like guitar members of Maroon 5 that's Maroon 5 oh, I only know Adam Levine so well you know Brian May I only you know, know Freddie Bro Mercury so wow okay well that just means you're dumb but anyway I hope she can show all her creativity as a solo artist herself. But I heard that uh, she has vocal skills as well. Like she used to actually, sing she can, too. She can dance. And actually funny she thing. She can dance? Yeah, she can okay, dance. that's uh, random. She dances I was, I was expecting concerts. like guitars or vocals. Uh, honestly, like her guitar skills are like, okay. Um, it's not like, you know, anything out of this world. It's the fate of a band. Like I, nobody, I nobody gives a shit. Fate of a band. Like, do you, do you know Buzz's members? Like other than Min Do well, you know I think CM it's Blue a fate members a, other than Jong Young? Like FT Island, Yongi. I think it's the fate of the band in Korea. Yeah, no, okay. it's the fate of the band everywhere. Like that's just the fate. Well, so I, I applaud her going solo and doing her own work because now people will recognize right. more of her work. On to the next news. So JYG Jejung gets the curl. Virus, oh, but no. apparently it's a joke and why the fuck you lying right now he is facing a lot of repercussions so basically jyg's jejung pulled a prank on april fool's day using the curl virus how smart oh, of him uh -huh. oh no uh, out of all those pranks you can call anyways on april 1st kim jejung posted on his instagram that he was affected by the coronavirus and he said that it was his fault of ignoring all the cautions he had received from the government and his surroundings and all and he went on saying that he was so sorry to all the people that might have been infected by him and now his actions might have affected the whole society as jejung was the first case of a celebrity in korea to be reported positive of the coronavirus the media and fans lamented on it and many concerns and support was headed his way however after 50 minutes precisely wow. 50 minutes from his posting, not even an hour, he edited the post by saying, are my beloved ones infected by the virus? It is truly heartbreaking. Still, people don't care. They think I'm not infected and go around the streets without precautions. This makes me so concerned about how it might potentially hurt my friends and family. The delusion that my surroundings and I will be safe can make everyone around you sick. Currently, closest friends and people are getting infected and it is not a distant story. So until there, I think it's all facts. Like we should so be said okay i made this joke because mm. i wanted to bring aware yes basically it was like dark night dark night to the korean society I he's guess. taking the bullet for the team taking his career down so that he can bring awareness about 
to the Korean society. I guess. Oh, and then he man. goes on. This is the important part. And he says, I know this was excessive as an April Fool's joke. Oh, so he admits dumbass. that it was kind of overboard. Yes. But in a very short time, many people got concerned. So he's like, oh, my goal was achieved. And then I do not think this is a prank. Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> he said, he, he said that, it was a prank. Yeah, that's <laughs> my family and my friends are dying. It's not. Someone else's story. And protecting yourself is protecting your loved ones. I receive all punishments due to the consequences of my action. I wish everyone stays healthy. What an what an odd, what an odd Rap thing up. to pull off. Yeah, I know. As a, like whose bright idea was it that he was like, oh, I'm gonna talk about joke about the coronavirus. Yeah, and he's like, oh, uh, it wasn't actually a prank. I wanted to give. And then he tries to like. Presented in a way that he's like the good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stop yeah. Fucking lying. So obviously the majority of netizens didn't take this well commenting It's a relief that he didn't get it, but it's stupid of him to lie about this right. And even at this moment people are dying because of the virus and it is not something to joke about no. period Thousands of netizens went on to petition on the blue house to punish this behavior and, and the police and the KCDC Stated that by law it is possible that one might be sentenced a year in prison mm. or or a fine of 10,000 USD yeah. if the person constantly spreads false information. I don't think this is constant spread. Yeah, so obviously. the police all actually said that Chae Jung wouldn't likely get punished yeah. because his behavior was a one-off and the KCDC stated that they would look into the case more specifically internally. However, he's facing several repercussions such as his scheduled appearance on Japanese TV shows and radio shows have all been cancelled as well as his Korean reality show coming up on Travel Buddies. Mm. So like everything's getting cancelled because uh, yeah, he's, also, he's so. like basically kind of ditched his career. Yeah. Uh, actually, regarding the Japanese cancellation, he was supposed to go on live, um, I think, radio in mm -hmm. Japan mm -hmm. um, on April Fool's Day. Yeah. He was making this Instagram post mm -hmm. like a few hours prior, I, I believe. And actually, right now in Japan, people are mourning because one of their biggest comedians, they, he died because oh, of yeah. So like, this is like the worst time to make oh, a joke yeah. about the Think of this, hypothetically, you just have dies like, you know, three days ago because of some sort of like sickness. And then some random ass uh, Japanese guy comes and he makes a joke about that illness. Would mm. that fly in Korea? No, uh, not at all. So not the best joke. Probably the worst, the worst joke. joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So in the meantime, due to his joke, Jejung's past behavior on April oh, Fool's yeah, that dude is caught a attention man. again. Yeah. And it was known that in the past, he pranked fans such as saying that he's getting married oh. or suddenly fainting on the stage. Know. He <laughs> fainted on the stage. And the funny thing is he has three years in between each, yeah. each prank. So it was 2014, 2017, and people were like, what is he gonna do now? Yeah. So now I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to 2023. What he's if gonna he's do. If he's around Yeah, still. if he's still around. Yeah, so netizens claim that he's addicted to April <laughs> Fools and wants attention. And I, like, I, would, I would agree. <laughs> and actually this is becoming a very big issue because like there was a huge article yesterday that trended one, number one on Neighbor, and it was saying all the mistakes celebrities make on SNS, like is, do we have to restrict celebrity SNS behavior? Oh, and, I mean, you can't. It's a free country. You know? Yeah, but like the the <laughs> article, back to China. the article was pretty interesting because it was touching aspects such as the celebrity idol training system, where they don't teach them about like social issues and social awareness uh, and stuff like right, that. They right, just focus right. on dancing, dancing in language, blah 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 blah. Being funny, and funny they don't that. they don't raise celebrities as a human being. I agree. Yeah. So agree. do we have to educate them on this kind of stuff? At the same time, on the business point, do we have to restrict their social media? behavior because it's causing you know um, honestly amazing damage to when, the company when a lot of these celebrities go off um on instagram and act like complete like they're out of touch i think yeah because they don't live in the same reality right. as most of their fans mm. so it's very difficult for them to be in tune to what people think and yeah. perceive they're just they just don't know it's that's the reality for them but oh no then we're gonna get that comment saying like uh, ignorance is no longer excuse no, anymore. No, I'm the just internet saying, is here. I, so what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if I was the CEO of a label, I would not allow my celebrity to have any type of social media that is not managed by me or you know the man and i think that's the reason why we get frustrated every time we do an idol interview because they can't say anything they right. can't say shit so this is a the whole ironic they have no, like a pr manager that's basically like telling them what to say yeah it's a paradoxical case right, right, right like right. you can't solve it so yeah oh well yeah. on to the next, next news. news speaking of
Uh, well, guess who ain't afraid of the 3,000 people lining up for Animal Crossing despite the coronavirus going around. So Animal Crossing New Horizons, I got it. Animal Crossing New Horizons. But oh, I, so you were one of those people. I no. I oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 oh. no, no. Okay, let me just clarify. Okay, Animal Crossing New Horizons came out on March 20th for the Nintendo Switch. I have the game, but no Switch. And it's the latest entry to an extremely popular video game series that simulates island life. Look at how peaceful this is. Escape to an island all your own. And you get to pay off uh, your debt to this raccoon. He's like a debt collector. Wow, such a um, And up game. upgrade your house. So it, it's, what an in the start, game. it's a tent, but you get a house and then you get to like upgrade your house. So again. basically you make a house and you pay your debts to a raccoon. Yes, it's like a life simulator. Yeah, you so get a mortgage. So we're struggling in real life here to pay off our debts and now we go in vir virtual reality to pay debts and to a raccoon. And the cool thing about this game is... Uh, well, this game has just driven Korea to madness as people are now in a frenzy to buy Nintendo Switches to play Animal Crossing. People are especially crazy over this Animal Crossing themed color Nintendo Switch. On March 20th, uh, 3,000 people lined up in Yongsan in an effort to buy Animal Crossing Switch, uh, which they only sold 70 of. And on April 4th, 600 people lined up in Shindorim when a store announced that they were gonna do a lottery for three, three Animal Crossing Switches. A lottery? Yeah, mm. so now they figure like, okay, we can't do like um, first come first serve because people, are, people were like putting up tents. They were gonna give out three Animal Crossing Switches and 600 people showed up. I bet they're Insane. all scalpers. A lot of them are scalpers. Yeah. And also there were many people camping out for two days in order to get the Switch. Um, now it's even hard to get just a regular Switch or even a Switch Lite. And resellers are selling them at 500, 600. I've seen even like a How thousand bucks. How much is the bucks. original price? Uh, the original is 350. Oh, so it's not that much premium. Like two times, I guess. Yeah, two times, but still, man. Like, okay. this is a two-year-old uh, game console. It's not like it's just come out. Okay. Um, Do you have one? I don't have a Switch. Oh, why, I only... <laughs> why the hell did you so buy this? My personal story is... <laughs> that I went to line up game store in Gangnam. Literally like 50 people were in front of me and I wanted oh to get God. a so Switch. So much for social distancing. I wanted to get a Switch and an Animal Crossing game. By the time I, it was my turn, I, there was no Switch. So he was like, um, do you still want an Animal Crossing game? And I was like, okay, I'll get the Animal Crossing. And, and I, was, I got the very last one. And there were like 40 people behind me and they all left home. And I, I felt like I was a winner. But you don't even have a Switch. How are you winning? I know. I, but I'm looking at this every day. Imagining myself that I'm playing this game yeah, soon. Yeah, paying debts to raccoons. Anyway, uh, amid the virus and the anti-Japan boycott, it's kind of ironic that people are lining up camping um, in the thousands to get the Switch. Um, it's sort of crazy, and this has been led by many factors, including, you know, people being bored of the coronavirus, the Nintendo factory is closing down in China because of the coronavirus, and thus lowering supplies and raising demands. My personal question is, a lot of Korean people are kind of mocking and also criticizing the people that are buying the Switches and the Animal Crossing games right now. Because remember, just a few months ago, people were like outing p other people who were buying Uniqlo, um, going to Japan, or buying like, you know, Japanese beer and stuff. And then now when the Switch comes out with the Animal Crossing, everybody's like insane for it. So what people are saying is, okay, it's okay, you can buy the Switch, you can buy Animal Crossing, do whatever the, you want, but don't post it on Instagram. What do you think? Both sides are stupid, but uh... I <laughs> <laughs> What's the, stupid that's, about buying Animal Crossing? That's, Coronavirus is most likely to spread from person to person when we come into close contact with one another. We can all help stop the spread by keeping our distance. Do whatever you want. If you want to buy a damn game, like buy it, like post it on Instagram. You have no right to say like, don't post it on Instagram. Both sides are dumb. Do something more productive. It's okay. very difficult to get a Nintendo Switch uh, right now. I so. have never seen anybody around me with a Nintendo Switch. I mean, I've been looking all over Seoul to get a Switch, but I can't get a Switch. Last news, yes. Chung Jun Young from the Burning Sun Group chat fined for prostitution charges, oh. not allegations anymore. Oh. So singer Chung Jun Young related to the Burning Sun scandal recently received a summary order from the court of an $800 fine. What? 
So a summary order is when a court decides not to go through an actual trial considering the waste of manpower and time when the <laughs> crime is trivial and clear. <laughs> well, so, I don't think this is trivial. And the judges just decide to sentence by examining the crime through the records on paper. So usually summary orders are given to prostitution cases in the uh -huh. form of fining and confiscation. Okay. So basically the court sends you a fine to your front door. So yeah, you're like, meal. ding dong, you got a fine for prostitution, $800. Uh -huh. Send it uh -huh. to this account and that's it. In his jail cell. Because he's in jail right now. Yeah, I guess. It's like, ding dong. <laughs> Also, Mr. Kim, former employee of Burning Sun, was fined $1,800 fine for providing a prostitution. Uh -huh. As for Seungmi, the prosecutor indicted him for six charges, including prostitution, along with Jung Jun Young and four other people. Seungmi's trial will proceed in the military by the military court. And meanwhile, this case is separate from the sexual assault and illegal filming and distribution charges, where he and Choi Jung Woon was sentenced six years of prison uh -huh. in this trial. And Jung Jun Young denied the first trial and chose to proceed to the second second trial. Right. So of course netizens were mad about the court's decision, phrasing it a cotton hammer punishment, saying sombang mangi chobar. But legally it's known to be a standard procedure where the law states that prostitution activity can be sentenced either one year of prison or a fine under $2,500. Mm. It's just that the headlines and people are not really paying attention to the details. Yeah. So they think like, oh, for everything he did, he just mm. got fined $800, yeah, which is so, not the case. So uh, don't, this is just for prostitution. So don't worry, people. Um, there's Justice more to come. It. Yeah, there's, there's more, to, more come. to come. Like people on the articles are not very interested in Chung Jin Young himself because like he's already proven, he's already admitted all his crimes. Right, right. So he's going to jail for sure. Right. But like people are more interested in Seungmi, of course. Uh, like they're like, so when Seungmi? Is, is it gonna be like a public affair? No. Like he has six charges, but it's all gonna be in military court. So right. it's probably uh, not gonna be that open. So Everybody out there is saying like, this. wow, these guys are above the law. They have uh, like ties to the Blue House and whatever. I have a lot of doubts that Chung Jin Young is tied to the Blue <laughs> I, House. Like this random Random ass kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not tied to Well, I, I guess like people are mostly stating about Seungmi that he yeah. has like ties. The rumors are it's not because of Seungmi's power itself. The rumors are allegedly is that Burning Sun's VIP rooms has like a lot of customers that are from like the sons and daughters. So. We should bleep all this out. Yeah, that was it for DK News. Go pay your debt to raccoons and, you know, yes, stay play safe Animal at home. Crossing. If you even um, have a Switch. You should play. It's really I, I saw video clips and it pre it's pretty grotesque to me. Like, these raccoons are like... There's a dog in this game. He's a singer and he tours around the Animal Crossing world. And he has a song called Na Bet Do you know that song? Na Bet It's become the most viral song in Korea right now. Um, I've never heard of that. Maybe in your community. <laughs> incel, incel, otaku, community. otaku, animal crossing community. Search it on Naver right now. And oh yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. There's no search result. Oh, no, 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 There's no, no. Nah, bet. You pay you that bit. Try all you want. So that was it for DK News. Danny keeps on trying to search up that on Naver. Buy your merch. Ah, nabe po betao. Go check out our Patreon nah, nah, where nah, Danny's nah, nah. pretty much gonna talk about this. Yeah. And I'm gonna play this song. Okay, I have a new series. It's like K pop radio, and I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing tunes. And until next time, buy our merch. A few weeks until mm. we put them out of sale. So go buy our merch, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Oh. Uh...